Hey guys, my name is Dave, and welcome to another video. So, just as a fair warning before I do start talking about this, this video, the topic I'm going to be talking about is very controversial, so it is an opinion of mine, please do not take it personally to any degree, it's just my thoughts on this, plus the fact that this, this is something that's, from what my experience, is so controversial that it does cause, like, the dumbest of arguments. That being said, let's go ahead and get into this. How's everyone doing today? Welcome to another discussion and rant video, and I'm actually going to be talking about my own personal opinions about DC and Marvel. Yeah, <laughs> I'm going down that path. So, with all the cinematic stuff that's been coming out for the two lately, um, I kind of want to give my own personal opinion on what I thought about all of it. Quite frankly, it really kind of depends on whether we're talking about the comic books or the movies slash video games. Or actually, comic books, movies, video games. Three separate individuals at this point. Um, honestly, for the movies, it's very hard. You really need to pinpoint like this specific point in time. Because Marvel is taking the crown right now for me because of the MCU going on. However, DC has had its fine moments for me. Like, for example, the 80s Superman films. I love those movies. Um, you've got Birds of Prey, which I liked. It's a very uncommon opinion, but I do like it. Um, Joker, fantastic movie. Um, Dark Knight. The Dark Knight Trilogy was, before that, Dark Knight Trilogy was like the last of the DC films. Everything between the Dark Knight Rises and um, whichever one came first, Birds of Prey or Joker, everything between those two, I was like, ugh. So, yeah, there's that. And, the, and pretty much before that, every... Bef before Iron Man came out in the MCU, pretty much it was DC had the crown. It was just like, hey, 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 you'll never get it. But then they started doing the MCU, and it's just snatched out of their hands. That's my own personal opinion on the movies. However, when it comes to the games, that's where the tables really turn. Because honestly, I personally can only think of three good um, Marvel games, and ironically, they are all Spider-Man. The Tobey, uh, Tobey Maguire, I believe, um, Spider-Man's 1 and 2, I liked those games. At the time they came out, they were very good. And the Insomniac Spider-Man, with the additional Miles Morales coming out very soon, if not already, and then it'll already be out by the time. As of this recording, very soon, but by the time you guys see this, it'll already be out. But those... Insomniac, it's Insomniac. They do a really good job. But then there's, like, the Marvel's Avengers um, Square Enix game. It was good to a point, but then kind of faded. That's, again, personal opinion. Others might have a different opinion. Um, but outside that, uh, you've got Batman Arkham Asylum, you've got, a, uh, so many fantastic Batman games. And then there's even, like, Injustice, where DC game, fantastic series. Injustice is a great series. Um, like, I could go on a rant, like, DC takes the cake for me when it comes to games. Because, you know, honestly, DC makes so many more good video games than Marvel. Sorry, Marvel. But that puts us at a 50-50. Which one do I like better on the comics? I'm sorry, it still stands 50-50. Because when it comes to the comic book eras, they kind of equalized on each other. Each individual was its own, like, original story. But unlike Marvel... DC did not combine any of the heroes as well. Marvel did it in a way where they would, like, literally cross over. But it was always Stanley, so, I mean, come on. Stanley was always very good at that. The DC universe was a mix of 
different people. That's the problem. But if it was the same person, it would have the same outcome. That's what I'm saying. Like, I think comic book wise, both were fantastic. Even during the different eras where like you had to have a specific point in time, the silver era where you had to do a very particular amount of violence, which wasn't much at all. And then there was like what I like to call the psychopath era, which I believe was the bronze era where all the enemies were just like and then there was the last era where they were just, you know, generic enemies. They were still violent, but they were like gangs. Kind of like Kingpin. Um, or... Uh... Penguin, maybe? Yeah, probably Penguin. But you get my point. It's For me, it's kind of a 50-50 draw. I like both. But it really kind of depends on which aspect. It's 50-50 roll. Both did great with comics. DC did better with video games. And Marvel did better with movies. But that's my own personal opinion. What do you guys think? Um, do you agree with anything I've said? Uh, do you have any other opposing thoughts? If you do, let me know in the comments below. Just try to keep it clean. I'm not against anybody as long as they're not against my own personal opinion. Uh, so if you do have a different opinion, let me know what you think in the comments below. If you want me to talk about something else, um, let me know down there as well because I'm trying to keep an open mind on these kind of things. Um, if you do want to check out any other discussions or rants that I've kind of picked up on over time, or some videos that are about myself, like personal life type of thing, I'll have links to each of the playlists involving those on my sites. Uh, if you like this kind of stuff, I do at least one of these type of videos once every three days. So if you like that kind of stuff, consider subscribing to the channel. Um, however, for right now, I am going to head off. Thanks again for watching, guys, but I'll see you guys later. Bye for now.